October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and for most women, mammogram screening doesn't start until after the age of 40. But Vasi Prokos met with a breast cancer patient who talks about the importance of early screening and advocating for yourself. I guess you never suspect that you're going to get diagnosed with cancer until you do, so you're not prepared for it. 34-year-old Jessica Hill was diagnosed with one of the most aggressive breast cancers, triple negative breast cancer. So about a week after Thanksgiving, I started having extreme pain in my left lymph nodes. So while I was massaging my underarm one day, I noticed I also had a lump in my left breast. So I was like, that's no good. So I went to a family medicine office um, to get it checked out. And there, um, they didn't really seem to take it that seriously. They said my lymph nodes were probably an ingrown hair or I was fighting an infection and that my lump could be moved, which wasn't characteristic of a cancerous tumor. However, thankfully, they did decide to go ahead and schedule me for a mammogram just to play it safe. But for Hill, the next available appointment wasn't until six weeks after her visit, and she says that playing it safe is the reason she's still here. So sure enough, my biopsy results came back two days later, and I got diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. Um, and oh, those lymph nodes that were hurting me also tested positive for cancer. So here I am. I did six months of chemo. I had a lumpectomy and I'm on my fifth week of radiation, but I'm still here. Hill says that she's thankful for the village of people she can turn to for support and for UK's Markey Cancer Center where she's getting treatment. I was in a very dark place and my family came over constantly to, you know, check in on me and play games to make sure that I was my mind was off of it. My husband and my sister spend the night. Even in the darkest days, Hill said there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Some days you're going to be sad and everything's going to suck. And then some days you're going to feel joy again and just to try to take it one day at a time. Even with all the treatments, Hill's journey is still not over. She will finish radiation on Friday, but will continue immunotherapy until the spring. She encourages women in similar situations to advocate more for themselves early in the process. In Lexington, Bossy Prokos, Fox 56 News.